hello, welcome to my channel. This is a video about um, <coughs> using a uh, R node, radio node, with a filter for 868 MHz for a reticulum mesh So what I've got here, let's start this end. This is the, the R node itself, it's a Heltec V3, and it comes into focus. Things never focus when I'm recording. There we go. Um, nice thing about this is you've got this little display, it's going upwards, showing signals. There's a burst of signal. Uh, <clears throat> the white light comes on during transmit and sometimes also during receive and then you can see transmitted and received bursts, there's some little bursts being received there uh, you can see on the, the Heltec V3, so that works nicely anyway, that is connected <coughs> to the filter that's been in my other videos for testing and so on to reduce unwanted um, interfering signals outside the band and in a moment we'll see uh, the results of before and after with that filter and then, this is not the finished product of course, it's not exactly waterproof, it's just to uh, test proof of concept. And then there's a piece of cable, um, probably nearly one metre long, semi-rigid coax, it's fairly low loss, quite expensive cable, which is connected with an adapter from SMA female to N-type female, and then the bottom of the antenna is plugged in, and this is the white antenna that's been causing me problems over the last few weeks, which has the highest gain, and. Uh, the worst performance but now it has the best performance as you'd expect and we'll see that in the results which I'm about to show you so um, normally I have a like a ray dome which is an inverted flower pot from Woolworths and uh, that's to keep rain off of the inverted um, plastic funnel with the, the hole cut a bit bigger so it keeps off the rain but also keeps off the sun this is actually an SDR receiver inside a box here and it can get extremely hot in the sunshine, so that's protected from sun and, and rain. And normally I would have a, a, a node in a box here, but I've taken that off and just put the antenna straight there because it's going to have a lot more electronics with the filter and so on. Also, eventually, you'll see that in here there's some big batteries which are charged by these uh, solar panels here. Uh, these are three 25 watt solar panels and um, I'll show you how I've got that all set up once I've got this uh, all working nicely. So with that, I'm going to go indoors and uh, show you some results um, on the screen using uh, Reticulum Mesh Chat. Back indoors and looking at the um, Reticulum Mesh Chat program. For some reason the video capture has gone a bit slow. <laughs> Sorry about the jumpy cursor. It's always something, isn't it? Anyway, um, so this is the Haltech V3 out on the balcony with the big white collinear antenna and the filter in between and if we look at this we can see that the noise floor is at minus 113 dBm roughly it's fluctuating slightly that's gone up now when a signal is transmitted um, but when there's no signals being received on the antenna then it's about minus 113 dBm and when I connected a uh, 50 ohm load in another video we saw we got minus 114 dBm so uh, there's a little bit of noise picked up but very little and uh, the filter is cutting out all of the unwanted signals that of course count as noise because if it's not wanted signal we call it noise. Anyway, minus 113 dBm and if I ping the node that I always ping to test things um, which is called spider beam solar that one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ping it and uh, see what kind of result I get <clears throat> and as you can see we've got 100% signal quality, that's the most important thing and RSSI is minus 98 dBm and a signal to noise ratio of 7.75 and what I've done is I've made a table of results which hopefully I can switch to now and here we are I'm going to just make sure I'm pointing at the right thing with the mouse this time um, the white 0.8 meter long collinear is this one and this is what I measured a few minutes ago I got minus 113 dBm noise floor which is the same minus 98 dBm RSSI which is the same signal to noise ratio was 8 dBs and quality is 100% so it's working really well and that's with the filter in place now what happened before was <clears throat> without the filter I was getting um, a noise floor of minus 94 dBm which is uh, what's that that's 6 plus 13 that's 19 dBs higher noise and uh, 19 dBs, call it 20 dBs, is 100 times more noise power allegedly being received in that Heltec V3 because of the large high gain antenna and 20 dBs more noise. That's terrible and this resulted in a signal quality 
value reported by MeshChat of only 65%, which is terrible. Um, the received signal strength was actually 6 dBs more than what I'm getting now with the filter, and it was minus 92 dBs, whereas now with the filter it's minus 98 on average. So looks like 6 dBs less signal power, but 20 dBs less noise, which gives a 14 dB improvement in signals noise ratio. As you can see here, the signals noise ratio was minus 1.25 dBs, and now it's uh, plus 8 dB, so it's 9, call it 10 dBs improvement in signals noise ratio by including the filter, which is what I wanted to, to find out and to prove to myself it would work. By putting that filter in, I've uh, increased the signals noise ratio by about 10 dBs and got 100% quality as I've expected to get from that large antenna, all because it, the, uh, the, the Heltec V3 or any R node needs a filter in front between it and the antenna if you're in an area where there's a lot of mobile um, phone base station transmitters, which there are in any city in the world, um, unless you're in the middle of a field somewhere, <laughs> or in a jungle, or in a forest. So um, this has solved the problem. I did uh, check earlier <clears throat> using my favorite uh, shorter antenna, 40 centimeter long black, I think it's a collinear inside, you never know till you x-ray these antennas, um, and this one was working much better, that was always giving 100% quality. These left hand figures with no filter and the right hand fil uh, figures here are with filter, but I should have said that earlier. So this was giving 100% earlier and a signals noise ratio of 7.25 dBs. Now you get a signals noise ratio of 8 dBs, so it's not really improved at all and 100% you couldn't improve anyway. Um, but the noise floor has gone from minus 94 dBs down to minus 113. So um, that's a big improvement. Again that's uh, 6 plus 13 is 19 dB improvement and drop in noise power by the filter. <clears throat> but obviously that noise wasn't high enough to trigger the problem which was happening with the larger gain antenna. So um, using a filter down here is obviously very beneficial and uh, has made the system work and I also don't have the problem now that it's blocked from transmitting sometimes because of the high noise floor. So um, it appears I've solved the problem and here are the results that prove it. So uh, the recommendation is if you're having these sort of problems, is to put in a, a decent quality filter between the antenna and the R node. And um, the problem is, filters are not easy to find. Um, I had, uh, as I said in another video where I tested it, it wasn't easy, and I got the last one from a, an online shop that had some. So um, it's good to uh, look out for these and, and grab them while you can, I think, if you have these sort of problems. Anyway, that's enough from me for now. Please uh, make comments and ask questions and uh, like and subscribe if you think that's appropriate. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.